Yo, 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 what it do, what it do is your boy MG with 800 Entertainment. You're now tuned in to the Crew Talk, Mike City Crew Talk. I got my man right here, Mr. J, Superman, DP. To my left, round of applause. Over there across the way, I got big homie Cool Cat, right? And across the way over here, I got OG Kurt, man, 954. Yeah, everybody's in today. I'm here with you on the screen, tuned into the Mike City Crew Talk, where we talk about everything in the entertainment industry. Um, highs and lows, man, different opinions. So just to jump right into it, man, you know, I'm gonna call bullshit, bullshit, man. Now, y'all been paying attention to the uh, Jada, J how Jada been doing with my dog Will Smith out here? Yeah. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her too. Suck her in that red top table, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make sure you glance to the right every once in a while so they can see your faces. Yo, yo, yeah, man. yeah, phone them, yeah. All right, so, so I'm sick of the bullshit too. I ain't gonna lie to you. The way that she was doing my dog, bruh, is, 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 is very dis... Oh, you know, I apologize. Shout out my man DJ Janeiro in the cut behind the scenes right here. Also, shout out my homie in the back, man, Chip, behind the scenes right here. And all of us right here create the crew. There's some people that are missing and, and well beyond. But back to this, this snake hoe Jada, man. I ain't, I don't appreciate that shit she got going. Uh, yeah. How she doing with my dog? She just called her snake hoe. That's how she was acting? All right. <laughs> you said that. Yes, sir. All right, Keep my, I can't call her a stank hoe. I'm tired of her telling us her business, but she ain't no stank hoe. He a man. You leave. You a man, you leave. If your girl acting like that, then you doing something wrong. You don't need to be with her. You either don't need to be with her or yeah. uh, something. At the same time, that, that public shit, all that, all that behind closed doors shit need to stay behind closed doors. That was that was a personal it. attack. Drop a fucking drop a fucking show. You be the next Kardashians. Nah, shows. man, that's that's to me, bruh, I'm gonna keep it one thousand. That shit is rude and uncalled for. And if that's your husband and your and you guys either talk it out with Jesus or go to therapy. It'll make for a good show, bro. The kids is weird. Feel me? They they weird. Can you imagine the Will Smith was a rapper, nigga? He, he like if he was a real rapper, like now. <laughs> I know he was a rapper back then, but I'm talking about like imagine if his profession was still rapping and never acting. That would fuck. That like imagine if Beyonce came out and was doing all this shit that Jay was doing. Like how much shit Symphony? Jay would get. Jay Jay would have to drop a diss track right now. Man. Right now, it don't matter how much money you get. It don't matter how much money you get. <laughs> no, but he would have a distract on all, all the beehives. But to put it in perspective, if he was a rapper right now, he he would be scrambling on a PR campaign to kind of cover up a lot of the shit that she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 they would have like some type of strategy because to me that's some bullshit, man. I ain't gonna lie. But their personal business and how. She's dogging him out, but it ain't. It ain't yeah, that's like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You think that slap was staged, though? Mm. A lot of people said it was. I don't, I don't know what to think on that. I can't, I, it, it, God, at the end of the day, both of them would. Everybody involved is actors. Yeah, yeah. How many times you done seen Will Smith slap the shit out of a nigga and believe that? Right. Damn, boy, you just like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but just, just with that, though, bro, like. <laughs> you think you would've slapped a rock? The Rock? <laughs> That's a great question. You know what I'm saying? You would have slapped The Rock? I don't think he would have had it. I think he would I think he would have slapped. I don't think he would have been successful. That yeah. Yeah. Been I like, think he probably would have tried, but like The Rock, like, we're a wrestler, like. Hey, he would have looked at him like, bitch. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> but you gotta remember, too, man. Will play Ali, he had to do a little training now. He probably got to win. Will Smith probably would beat one of our ass right now. When he's in shape, you don't, yeah, that too. But still, though, you know how to fight. You know how to fight. I done seen out of shape niggas fight in shape niggas and beat the dog shit out of. Because it, it depends on how long the fight lasts. Yeah, yeah. You know I think the average fight is probably like one minute or less. Man, Will Smith got a, a trillion dollars. Yeah. That nigga work out. He got all kind of you see good nigga, shit. He eat all that shit. That nigga went to the top tallest building in the world. Man. And sat on the top of the very top. Yeah, he took the stairs all the way. And then to be real, right. let's get this clip. They had to climb. He ain't slapped slap Chris Rock. My bad, bro. I'm no, talking no, about. You're good. He ain't slapped Chris Rock. But he, he slapped the fuck <laughs> out of Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> he slapped the shit out of that boy. You see, you see Marlon Wayne stand up. Money's nah, that nigga was like, brother, that nigga, she she did some shit like to him. 
and the, the, the soul of Tupac went in that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you see the wall change and everything. You don't want like that. <laughs> and you know what's so funny? You could tell that, like, because you know how, like, white comedy go. You know what I'm saying? And you could tell everybody in the audience thought they was just finna go back and forth with the comedy. He's probably like, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> he slapped the shit out of him. That's real. Like, hey, yo, the whole arena hey, yo, was stunned. Hey, hey, yo, 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 gangs, this, this is some gangster shit, man. The whole he, arena. He slapped the shit out of him and then went back to his seat. Yeah. Straight up, look. And he crossed his leg, like, yeah. keep my fucking wife's name out your mouth. And one of the award. Finish your segment. And one of the award. And one of the award right afterwards. What? Baby. And gave, and gave like the greatest speech or whatever. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, but in his career. But but to get back to Jada on her side of things, so she dropped a book recently, right? Going over her whole life, talking about how much she was in love with Tupac. They were soulmates and all this shit. Uh, Tupac proposed to her, and she kept telling everybody how her and Will were separated for the past seven years. But then recently, all up until today, I saw when she was with a group of women somewhere, she said her and Will were separated for seven years until the slap. Right after that, she said she put it back on them and they got back together. Do y'all, yeah. do y'all believe that yes. bullshit? I ain't gonna lie, cause it's kind of contradictive. Because she said that she, because I remember her doing the interview saying that. They worked together. The food, nah, the, the slap, she was disgusted at the slap. He was foolish for doing it. She didn't condone it. So did it turn you on or were you she disgusted? She stopped the nigga I feel like she put that pussy on the no, I, 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 I think that pussy got wet. Bro, girl, let me tell you something. I don't care how nice girls try to make it. Oh, don't do. Oh, girls love shit like that. Hell yeah. Girl. Bitches love nice niggas. I, I know like girls that like that. Bitches got to start straightening up. Like, yeah, bitches, like, like, that. Like, bitches love niggas with guns. You, you want to you turn the bitch on? Let us see you got a gun. They might say this. They might be like, I'm doing too much. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He don't mean none of that pink shit. I've been seeing some of y'all niggas out here with motherfucking guns and they pink. We know that that's your shit. Stop playing. I ain't gonna lie to you though. <laughs> if my girl got a gun and that bitch pink and I need a blick, I'm gonna bust that. I'm no, 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 that no, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. If that's your lady shit, by all means. That's one thing. Man, you talking about a nigga that's you pulling up on me? And you didn't pull it up with a pink gun? I don't give a choice. Come on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I done seen paintball guns more gangster than that shit. I ain't gonna lie, though, man. You pull a pink gun on me, but you still gonna be like, you got that big dog. Fuck no. I'm trying to fuck that show, man. Fuck that. Sorry. There's something wrong with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a guy. Superman. I'm a guy. My bad. So, it's, in the, it's in the name. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. I'm going to get a super shot, but I don't, I don't never, give a fuck. I never got that, though. I used to always, like, wonder that, like, that's so stupid, though. Like, I'm not saying nothing about you, but, like, I know niggas, bro, who, like, fuck you, nigga. Like, I can see if you see the bitch in the nigga, I don't care. You see the bitch in the nigga. But, but. I saw the bitch in the nigga when he pulled out a pink gun. gun. Nigga will bust you though, buddy. <laughs> nigga sorry. will bust I'm you sorry. with that. I'm sorry. Some niggas be that scared that they will shoot the shit out of you. Man, what? Don't underestimate That's nobody. That's the majority of niggas that dies. The niggas that are scared and ain't got oh, no oh, aim. Oh, yeah. That's why so many innocent bystanders be getting hit. But anyway, to move off of that Jada question, I'm going to switch over to. Um, I, like I love you, Jada. <laughs> Fuck that, I love you. <laughs> I don't. I like her. I, I love Jada. She was yeah. never my favorite. Stop, stop putting sweat on my man Will Smith's mm -hmm. name and, and put some respect on it. But to move on mm -hmm. from that, let's talk about uh, how many of y'all listen to The Breakfast Club? I listen to The Breakfast Club in the morning when I'm hustling. Sometimes, sometimes I do. All right. Charlamagne, 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 Charlamagne you God, God, DJ Envy. I mainly see it on Instagram. On Instagram and YouTube and shit like that. Okay. Well, right now, DJ Envy, he, he does real estate. He, Got partners, uh, Caesar Pena, uh, that uh, recently was arrested for a Ponzi scheme, um, anywhere between forty to one hundred million dollars that they took from investors uh, to get into the real estate industry. Hey man, let me have some money. <laughs> well, supposedly they don't know where the money is, and this guy is taking everybody's money and buying all this, uh, getting them to invest into the same property. So pretty much, what's going on is. And uh, uh, DJ Envy is acting like he doesn't know what's going on, right? He says that he doesn't know. All he did was help promote That's the cap. seminar. Because he's the only nigga one complaining about his money. Now he's complaining. Well, he's saying the nigga owe him 500k right now, supposedly. 
But the nigga went to jail, Caesar, got bonded out, and went online and was like, oh, so now Envy's a, a victim? And before, he was an investor. He was a partner in the whole time. So what's going on is this nigga got arrested. They owe 400, I mean, 40 to 100 million dollars worth of fucking investors running that they don't know where this shit is. Dude went to jail, he's bonded out, he's on house arrest. And now it looks like DJ Envy may possibly lose his job at iHeartRadio. He's definitely gonna lose his job, but he gonna tell. Yeah, I, not going I, to I already it. said he was telling, telling my, my partner because he don't want to have that smut on his name that he stole from anybody. He's definitely but telling. If he, get, if he get fired from 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 um, iHeart, he's telling them. No, what I'm saying though, he's still he's still he gonna tell He still he still got a job at the breakfast club, right? No, no, I heard radio owns that. Yeah. I heard radio owns the yeah, breakfast club. Okay. It, it don't matter though. He's it don't matter. He he's not just, he not he's not getting fired from breakfast club. He getting fired from iHeartRadio. Yeah, I that means he can't work for 99 Jam. He can't work for 103.5. Oh, iHeartRadio oh, owns oh, everything, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, he, he, that boy got a hundred million dollars. Yeah, he got a hundred million dollars. Yeah, he got a hundred million dollars. He got a hundred million dollars. But listen, I'm gonna be real, bro. To end the day, at the end of the day, that nigga, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna say it. Bro, being a goofy to me. Ever since that shit, like with his wife, and then now for, yeah, you, to, for you to be a nigga who this is what you do, you talk about people's demise for a living. Right. And now that the shoe on your foot, you mad at everybody for talking about it. Facts. You can't be mad. And then, yeah, not you only that, it? you ask other niggas to invest in, then went on a radio show, I mean, went on a talk show. They talked about how you asked them, and they told you it was crazy. Like, once again, yeah, they should have they should have got in on this. Like, you was talking about how they should have got in on it. Now, I'm talking about the club where Joe Buttons was telling them it's, that the shit's a Ponzi scheme, he's going to end up going to jail. So, for everybody who doesn't know a little bit of context, uh, years before when he first got into this real estate investment, he went on Mano's podcast. It was Mano's podcast. It was Mano's podcast, yes. And he said he called um, Fabulous. DJ, DJ Clue and, and Joe Buttons. Joe and he said immediately, Joe Buttons was like, nah, bro, that's a Ponzi scheme. You're going to jail. And this was like seven years ago before the nigga popped off. Now, he did make some money. Now, I'm going to break it down for you guys. The difference between what DJ Envy does and what Caesar Opinion does is Caesar Opinion fixes houses and flips them, right? Yeah. And that's how he makes his money. And DJ Envy buys his houses at dirt cheap, fixes them up, and then becomes the landlord. So he's not... And taking investors' money for properties. That's why he's saying he got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? But the victims who invested are saying they only signed up with this nigga because of DJ Envy, which is how it ties it to him. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, nigga, you were the spokesperson. So you you had to have gotten a kickback from everything that got invested. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, nah, bro. All I do, all I do is take my money, buy rehab properties, fix the rehab properties up, and then I rent them out. And that's why I have a right. hundred tenants and I get a hundred checks every month. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, bro, you gotta be getting back in. Hold on, you bro. gotta be getting bro. back in. You got to. Come on, bro. We know what's up. We, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, you know, like, I ain't finna, you know, we are, we all street niggas. We all done, we all have done our yeah, dirt, bro. Kick back, bro. We are, that's just like, me rap, that's just like Jay-Z, a nigga saying some shit about Jay-Z, with Jay-Z font, like, uh, helping him with some dope or some shit like that. Even though we know that jay Z smarter than that, at the same time, why would people be crazy for thinking that he did have something to do about it, and that's what he talks about? But it's a nigga you fuck with. Yeah. You, you, nine times out of ten, if I, if you try, if I'm doing something because of you, before I do it, I'm gonna be like, how you know this? <laughs> right. And you nine times out of ten gonna be like, yeah, I know the nigga, man, I'm yeah, fucking with this nigga. Dog. So, bro, you know what the fuck was going on, bro? Yeah, you yeah. vouch for this man. You know why I'm why, why I'm putting well, him in the well, well, a lot of his homies, a lot of his homies invested because he vouched for the nigga, right? So, because he vouched for the nigga, a lot of his like real homies invested, and if you add up just his homies, they're owed millions of dollars. And they're really like nigga. Man, I'd be mad at the bitch at Envy right yeah, now. Yeah, they are mad at the bitch at Envy, nigga. I'd be trying to knock down. What happened was the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, before the nigga got caught up, the nigga was 
kicking back bread. He was ciphering the money. So I, I listened to a lot of the videos and a lot of shout out Tony the Closer, man. Actually, Tony the Closer is got got to have a job with the FBI and the CIA and all that shit. The way he cracked this fucking case on the internet is crazy, yeah. right? Shout out Tony the Closer. Yeah, and like we, and then our cribs too, ain't it? Huh? You got cribs that he be, he be renting out and shit? Yeah, like that's what, that's what I'm moving in one. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. what, that's what I was going to bring up, too. Like, you know me, Brad? I'm moving in one for free. Because it's like, <laughs> I mean, they always start I'm over there. Doing it yeah. For real. Like, getting them for the money. Uh-huh. But then, some way, somehow, somebody start taking something to the side or doing some extra shit. Oh, what happened? There's someone? Yeah. Oh, look, I can hear myself a little bit. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, is it your mic? Yo, 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 is Tony Closer has a, a real estate course where he teaches people how to do real estate on, the, on another note. Um, he's asking Envy, yo, what's going on? I hear all my eight, all my clients are telling me, your shit's a scam over there. What y'all niggas doing? <laughs> and then he's like, nah, this ain't no fucking scam. Da, 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 da. This is before they, This yeah. is before everything. <laughs> so check this out. Because of that, Envy, or allegedly, allegedly, DJ Envy and Caesar. He was calling out Caesar. He really wasn't calling out Envy at that time, but Envy was sticking up for Caesar and was like, "Fuck you, Tony." Da 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 da. It was a scam. It's not a scam. Well, they sent some. Allegedly, they sent some goons down to the nigga house in Miami, right? Tony said it on his IG. I heard him like, "Oh, y'all sent niggas in my house." Da 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 da. He said his BM had lost, had a miscarriage because they put her personal information on the internet. They brought up his arrest record from back in the days. They were trying to slander my nigga, right? Because of that, Tony the Closer got the battery in his back and motherfucking went hard as fuck getting all this evidence from all the different people they scammed, and which is why the news crews picked the shit up, which is why the feds end up picking the shit up. So that's why I said the nigga probably works for the fucking police. So, but see, my thing is, though, like, the if the nigga ain't had nothing, to, I'm talking. I'm who the Tony nigga? Yeah. Oh, I'm, t- I'm sure that. But I'm saying like, for just on what you told me, I, that's rocket science. Yeah, got you. I, it ain't rocket science, but I feel like envy, like that kind of like say you got something to do with right now, bitch. You just send the motherfucker for a nigga out, like you just got gangster. And by that. Said, with that being said, envy's a fucking rat, like a real snitch, not like no nigga who not a street nigga who just. Doing that's different. You are in the streets. If you sending people to fuck other people up and you committing crimes, you're in the streets. So if you tell, you a snitch. Definitely. Yeah. So I, I feel like if if that's the case, bro, bro get everything you deserve. I hope yeah, I heart radio fires that. Well, you know the expression, you are who you associate yourself. Or you're guilty yeah. by association. If every use his platform, like this is Mike City's platform. If we started promoting. Uh, his Ponzi scheme that we didn't know was a Ponzi scheme, but we helped signed up 500 people that we helped contested I to. to, to mil- now he don't have a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> but, but, he, but we helped contribute to millions of dollars of sales that he helped take. I think that, you know, we would be a co conspirator somehow. Nah, that's different. Nah. It depends. If you help. And nah, it's just how you play your shit. Now, if you just help and you just advertise it, fuck that. I know me personally, if, I, if that was me, I would be trying to make a fake receipt and show that you paid me for this advertisement. Because now you paid me for advertisement, bro. You can't you can't say I ain't have shit to do with nothing, nigga. Yeah, well, see, the I got, nah, I got paid for a service. The pitch, the pitch, the pitch that he was using was come partner with us was the slogan. Come partner. Who, Envy? Yeah. But uh, this is what I'm trying to tell you, though. He only got paid he for advertisement. He yeah, worked for these people. He supp- allegedly. You t- people, people, are saying, people are saying that he's a partner of theirs. And what he's saying is, is what you're saying. Nah, only got paid advertisement money from these people. You know what I'm saying? But you said otherwise, though. You said he was actually a landlord to some of these people. No, the people that he's landlords with aren't the ones with the lawsuits. Those aren't the oh. people with the lawsuits. So who got that's, lawsuits? That, his, his partner, Caesar Pin- Pina. Pina. 
Okay. Is the one who has the Ponzi scheme. But what they're trying to say is to attach DJ Envy to it was the only reason why it became so big and now it's a Ponzi scheme is because you use Envy's face but this one, to recruit everybody. Do what I'm trying to say. Did he do it on air or he went to these people personally and talked to them about this business? Both. Hey, man. Then that's what the, <laughs> mo- the moment he went to them personally yeah. is the moment he committed a crime. If he just saying it on the radio, he could just be like, "Hey, man, this nigga paid me to speak on this shit." Yeah, that's true. That's different. But nigga, you went and talked to these people. Yeah. The yeah. fucking Angela E and motherfucking and Charlamagne ain't go with you. Nine times out of ten, that's probably why Angela E. Angela E. probably seen that shit. <laughs> nah, I'm out of way. Jump ship, bitch. Now, you know what I'm saying? She's a landlord too, actually. So she's into real estate, but on the landlord tip. The other dude is getting people's money to invest, and then they're taking the money. Envy doing the fuck. Make, make a long story short, so we can move on to the. Do that, son. Hey, hey, Envy, do they, that, motherfucker. They got a Ponzi scheme Stop. going. Stop. They, 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 <laughs> but, but they got arrested for a Ponzi scheme <laughs> anywhere between forty to a hundred million dollars. They're trying to tie iHeartRadio and DJ Envy's name to it, uh, into the lawsuits. So, um, all right, to move on to the next, you know, subject, or whatever. Uh, who, who all watched the BT Awards last week? I did. I ain't watching that. I ain't watching it myself either. So Do black so, people own it yet? No. Mm. Black people don't own it. Right. Y'all remember over the summertime they was talking about Tyler Perry and um The negotiation went bad. Was it fifty cent? Tyler Perry and fifty. Tyler, I think. Tyler Perry fifty and one more name, I can't remember. Shaq. Was it Shaq? Tyler Perry. Know. Yeah, yeah, Tyler Perry, Shaq and Fifty Cent. Supposedly with Tyler Perry being the majority holder, the deal fell through. So it's still owned by Viacom, which is a, a white-owned company. They own VH1, BT, MTV, MTV2, BT2, all you know, all the other sub breakdowns. It's still owned by white people. Is that considered a monopoly? It is yes. a monopoly. That's crazy. <laughs> Ain't a monopoly supposed to be illegal? Well, yes. that's why they have revolt and fuse because of that minority thing. Oh. But yeah, that's how Diddy got revolt because okay. it was a monopoly. Yeah, that's smart as fuck, yeah. bro. I need to look at shit like that. I need me to the disrupt me old monopoly, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They get a channel, bitch. Yeah. Shout out Revolt. That's how Revolt came about. Maxine Waters, the, the, the senator, campaigned and made a bill that I was only white fucking television stations with music. Yeah. That's how Revolt came. He got they got the bill. He got it at a fraction of the cost to start the network. So shout out Revolt, wow. shout out Diddy, shout out all that shit. I, I, like that, I like that, man. You should shout out Maxine Waters. A lot of people don't be on stuff like that, man. Gotta be yeah. on your political shit. Yeah. You know what's going on out here. People that's fighting really for you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I really want to shout out Maxine Waters. She is yeah. the one that helped pioneer black women in, in politics. Wonderful She's sister. Wonderful sister. She helped make laws for everybody. She helped push barriers and, and set the tone and set the pace as far as um, laws within the music industry and entertainment industry. So shout out Maxine Waters. Hey, these people face real threats and letters and all that. Yeah, on a daily basis. Yeah. So so I really want to just for like two minutes talk about the, the BT Awards because me and we were talking off camera and we want to tell everybody it's not like it used to be. It used to be a point in time where everybody in this building would be glued to the television to see who Three performed. Hours. Yeah, who performed. Stop. Who fucking walked out? Who had what? You know what I'm saying? I think the only thing that's that big still to this day is the halftime show. Would y'all agree? Yeah, the halftime, halftime show. I ain't, but I don't. I ain't gonna lie. No one cares. I don't them. give a fuck about the halftime show. I be watching the commercials in the game. Commercials be lit. Commercials be, be lit as fuck. Yeah, but when they play a lot of commercials, they're not allowed to air. Nah, but that performance regular. is the biggest performance. Right. It's like the biggest, if you get no, that right. sign, that's the yeah, biggest performance right. yeah, yeah, of, right. of the whole yeah, yeah, world. Yeah, they, right. the one they, they did, the last one was Rihanna, right? Killed yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. She did all that shit just to announce she was pregnant, fam. Yeah. No, no, they already knew she was pregnant. Nobody knew she was pregnant. She already knew she was pregnant. No, 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 no. no. no that that's was pregnant right. number two. They one knew. <laughs> they announced <laughs> it right after you, right? Oh, yeah, see, well, you... You're missing a good game, bro. Oh, she finished. You're missing a good game, brother. Rihanna has two babies, bitch. <laughs> so so fun. Rihanna, middle, bitch. With, 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 with Rocky? Of course. Oh, Rocky. Rocky, snap. I got Rocky. Two billion dollar babies. Listen, listen to me. 
beat. Let me just let me just say he was going wild for the night. He wasn't playing. You me? Hey, look, I'm just, I'm just a pretty nigga from all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty flacos with the colors. You snap, ASAP, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations yeah. to that nigga. Congratulations. He got locked up, man. Yeah. Nah, that was a brief moment with the little gun charge yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He just shot somebody or shot him in the ass. I forget what it was. Yeah, the pistol. What did he say? What did he lock? I thought he was locked up like somewhere else though. No, oh, that's the other situation where he was locked up in Sweden and Trump came and got him. Shut out, Trump, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, let me say that. I know this ain't got nothing to do with the Trump. Yeah, funny ass way. Let me tell you something, Trump. We miss you, bro. <laughs> well, the streets that I miss you every day. I miss him in that chub. <laughs> <laughs> chub, chub. Hey, well, we was eating. We were popping champagne, bitch. <laughs> eating lots of the shrimp, the Trump, bitch. <laughs> now we out here, don't know if we finna go to war. <laughs> bitch, gas prices through the roof. Yes, they want 1800 for a one bedroom. <laughs> it is hard out here, boy. Trump, they want thousand dollars for groceries. <laughs> Trump, bro, we, we need, we need, we need to get Trump out of Palm Beach. We definitely gotta get back in Washington. We definitely gotta get this old and, man out of the office, bro. And, and that's another, that's another thing that, like, how it's possible. Politics, we talking again um, Got to talk on the subject, yeah. you feel me, you that the politics places. that we talking about again, and it's like stuff like that we barely know about or barely talk about, you feel me? Now we gonna get to you it, I mean? Bro, we can jump right into it. Joe Biden just told China we won't smoke. Yes. What it is. Because they crashed into hey, the Philippines. You said what? Yeah. What it is? Let me tell you. He said he wanted to go to war about that. China, shit. China, 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 and he'll back up the Philippines because of the shit with the China warships, the two warships colliding and over there in the sea and all that fuckery. But just to give everybody... Oh, they some, collided? Yeah, and, 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 and there's some shit going on over there because China's activating to back Iran because Iran's backing the Hamas and fucking the Palestine. America, I America didn't went and slid warships out there to back Israel. And yeah, um, we've been providing these shit for years. Yeah, there's a lot of shit we going on. Up, we still we send like 30, 30, 40,000 troops a year. Man. But you know something though? A year. It's yeah. certain it's certain certain countries in the last couple of years have been clicking up with other countries because they anticipated this. They really want smoke with America, they want bro. Smoke with America. So they know that America full of cowboys, bro. Our last except for except for uh uh Obama. The our last couple presidents were fuck that nigga. What's up, type yeah, president? Yes, yeah. they were. Clinton ceased that shit down a little bit, but then Bush cranked that shit. But back. Clinton still, Clinton ain't had no choice though. They tried to bully Clinton.